what's up? What's going on? So we're going to talk about Tamar and Vince. This is episode five, y'all. I told y'all in my other review that I did yesterday on, I think it was on Empire or it might have been on Black and Crew. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to keep on reviewing this because it's just, I feel like it's the same thing over and over again. Like first it was talking about the whole, um, you know, his 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 upcoming surgery but now that that's over i'm like maybe they'll change up the topic but now it's like all going to be about the marriage i just feel like i always know what's going to happen on each episode which is which is a little bit uh, you know like bleh. you're talking about the same thing all the time you know but let's go ahead and recap it and you guys let me know what you think all right um i don't think i saw any comments on the last one so we'll just get right into it so Tamar, she was talking about that she was at the, the table with everybody. They was having a little luncheon. His boys was leaving. And she was all talking about she wants to get a new manager. I really think that that conversation should have been held off for, like, just him and her to have by themselves. But she, I felt like she kept on hinting at it. And he just wanted to know, like, okay, so what is it that you're trying to say? So then it all came out what she was trying to say that she's pretty much trying to get a new manager and he's like well it's not if it's not broke don't fix it meaning that i mean look at how he's helped her with her career look how far she's come when she first started out she's done how many albums and they were all a flop i mean it's pretty much him helping her as well as her having this reality show with her sisters that kind of sparked off and made her have a spin-off show but I do feel like she's kind of changed over the years. I mean, she said, she, I mean, she pretty much said she's changed and she's, she's grown over the years. And that's why she feels like she's grown and she don't want anybody to be the CEO of her life. She wants to be the CEO of her own life. She said that she has to kind of answer to him for everything and bring everything to him. And it's almost like he's running her life. I mean, I understand that you want to be in control of a lot more things. But the only difference is that if you have a manager, it's easier to fire them, you know? And not every manager is going to allow you to scream at them. I remember there was one scene where she said something along the lines of, of course, I'm paraphrasing, but she said that she's able to, like, she don't, there's certain things where she's upset about and she don't want to come at her husband like that. But I'm like, so you want to come at managers like that? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's kind of the reason why I feel like she got fired from the real. It, and they've said that because she was hard to deal with. She used to curse at people and things like that. I mean, I really loved her on the real. Don't get me wrong. And I don't even really, I just started watching the real again after she started, um, after she left. And that's actually because K. Michelle was on. And I actually do like K. Michelle. So that's why I watched it today. And now I have it on my DVR. So I'll watch episodes that kind of spark my interest that's what i do with ellen i have it on my dr dvr and the ones that spark my interest i watch but i watch all of my little wendy williams because she be she be having that, that good stuff honey anyway so yeah that's what i kind of feel about her like i just feel like she just watching her move like the way that she is is very entertaining it's good for tv but in a relationship i don't think that it's it's really good unless your man's a pushover a lot of things is not going to fly with everybody. The way she talks to her sisters and stuff, even they be wanted to be her up. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't talk to people like that and just expect everybody to kind of be good with what you're saying. Or think that you can say anything to anyone and they're supposed to be like, okay, you're right. You know? Everybody has an opinion. Everybody wants to put their voice out there. So Vince, he ended up getting mad and leaving the table because... He was, like, trying to talk at some points, and she was kind of jumping over him, kind of cutting him off. And he's just like, you know, I can't do this anymore. He's like, I can't talk when you talk, and you know what? You could just have the floor. And I saw, like, every time he tried to, like, put his point out there. I mean, he kind of cut her off, too. I ain't even going to be going a lot. Cause, and when he said something about oh um you done yet that was kind of rude because she was talking at that moment at least let her have the opportunity to finish and then try to get your point across but he probably knew like once she's done i'm not gonna be able to get a word in so but yeah both of them i think that they should go really go through counseling or something and kind of revisit how to talk to each other and have that good communication because right now it's really tainted 
Um, so yeah, pretty much they was both, well, what happened? It was pretty much like he's just getting, he was just like over it. He kind of played, I guess they got that from each other. They both do the same thing as far as when they don't like something, they walk away from it. I mean, that could be good in certain situations, especially if you feel like you're getting really, really heated. You don't want to say things really out of character. You don't want to curse somebody out. It's good to walk away, but sometimes you need to have those conversations. You need to let things out and say what you got to say so you're not festering it and harboring it inside. And then it explodes, you know? And he, there was one point where he had mentioned to her, he was like, you get mad about things and you don't let things go, you know? They showed another scene with her and EJ and and EJ and James. And I was starting to think like, oh, snap. Because I, I heard James say something like he understood where Vince was coming from at one point when he was saying that, when he said something about the relationship, he was saying that he could relate to that. Like, nobody's going to really, like, work for you the way that he works for you and things like that. He understood. But then they came right back to doing the kissy booty thing because they was all talking about they understand what she's saying. I don't know. I just feel like they're, what would it be called, enablers? Because they just kind of, like, they're, like, yes, men. They just kind of, like, go along with anything that she says, right or wrong. And I don't feel like that's what true friends would do. But I know at the end of the day, they probably don't want to lose their jobs. And they know how she would probably be like, oh, no. You know, with Vince, she'll take it because that's her husband, you know. And she's she was trying to make it work for a while. But if she could lose her husband, you know, get rid of him because she don't like the way he talks to her and all those things, then she can definitely go ahead and get rid of them. So I guess they like, you know what, let's just go along with what she say. We're going to smile. We're going to agree, we're going to nod our heads, and we're going to keep our jobs and our checks, okay? And get these trips, honey. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he has said... So, Tamar and Vince, they ended up having, like, a little conversation. When she came... Come on, Lauren. When she came, she, she just had, like, the what is it called the resting bitch face like while she was walking in front of him you could tell she already was like ready for an argument so they sit down in this nice little shop or whatever and he tries to talk talk to her about when she gets upset and how she doesn't want to hear it from anyone when she gets upset and she's just looking at him like what and she, he tells her that he, she's hard to manage. And she's just like, why would you... Like, she looked at him like he was crazy. But we can see it. Like, when even when he tries to talk to her, tries to say anything, she doesn't want to hear it. And that's when he was saying how she tends to, like, not take bad news very well. And she just, like, was totally over it. She didn't agree with what he was saying. She's like, what? Like... I had three albums that didn't go well, and how did I take that? Like, no, that's not what he's trying to say. It's like, if if somebody says something that she does not like, she will go in. If And if she's trying not to go in, she will be, like, acting like a kid, making faces. She'll do things like what she did with the salt when he was trying to talk. She was just, like, like doing mad extra stuff, you know, just to show that... You're, you know, like just being super extra. <laughs> I swear she's a queen. <laughs> I swear, like super dramatic for what? So Tamar talks to her father later on in the episode. They get him back in good graces because you know how upset she was. That was another scene where she had that outburst. And she didn't have any regards for Miss Wanda's feelings. Like she just was going off. And... Almost talking like the lady wasn't sitting there. I mean, I know that had to hurt that woman's feelings. The way she was just like, I don't care, and this and that. And it was just, like, really kind of disrespectful. I mean, her daddy played it down, I guess, because he trying to get back good with her. He didn't want to... He knows what's going to upset her. But she does end up telling him that she might want to take a little break from Vince. And I'm like, a break? Like, I don't understand. Like, I feel like a break is for when... You're 
dating. And even with that, most times when you say, let's take a break, you end up finding somebody, <laughs> you end up finding somebody else, you know, or that means I want to have a break so I could explore and I could be wild and crazy. And nobody could say nothing. You know, that's what I feel like a break is on a lot of occasions. Like, let me go see how many people I can get inside this vagina before I get back to you. <laughs> I mean... Come on, let's be honest. That's what it is a lot of times. Maybe not on all occasions. Some people actually do go out and try to find themselves. They meditate. They just get like this whole like, you know, in a zen moment. But that's not everybody. And that's not, I don't feel like that's the majority of people either. I mean, I don't know what Tamar is about to do, but I seen her looking like she getting her life. She been clubbing more. She been doing more hosting. She been shaking that thing on stage. I seen her walking up herself and moving and shaking. I was like, okay, Tay Tay, you making me feel like this little booty can work, honey. You making me feel not too bad about it. If I can see you doing it, go ahead, girl. <laughs> you know, <laughs> little booties matter. But... You know, that's what she pretty much looks like she wants to do now. But, yeah, that was pretty much, I mean, the episode in a nutshell. I definitely want to hear what you guys think about it and about the whole Vince thing. I mean, I'm definitely riding with Vince. I mean, I'm not taking nobody's side like that. But if I had to take a side, I would pick Vince's side. Because I do feel like he probably, like, I feel like he got his, a lot of people got their little spice, you know. Nobody's innocent in most situations. But I do feel like. She does a lot too, and you know we can't. I don't. I don't condone no hitting. I mean, just talking about how what I'm seeing from here from these shows, I do feel like he's a victim, and I do feel like he's not really respected to the to his full capacity. I mean, he's a like a mogul. How many people have he made stars? He even said it in the commentary, like I'm Vince Mother and Herbert. Like what? Like do you know who I am? And he's showing that even more now. Who he got? He got Remy Ma. He got escaped. Like, he is doing it, honey. He's showing that one pony ain't going to stop his show. He about to make them checks, honey. I bet you she might be coming back to him real soon. All right, guys. But thanks for watching. Be sure to stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I will see you in the next one. Laters.